Hey the guys, Winio here, and welcome back uh, to Fallout New Vegas. Unless we met, um, well, what did we do? Well, we started the new DLC, I can tell you that much. Oh, that would've been cool if it was welcome. Would've been ironic. Leaving, warning, meaning, okay, so it doesn't... I was gonna say, I can't end in ING if it has nothing to do with warning. Uh, okay. So, yeah, um, we started Lonesome Road, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Uh, trying to navigate through this missile silo, whatever place. Trying to find a way to get to the other side. Auto inject super stim pack. Might be useful. I'll always take stim packs when I find them, because we all know how I feel about those. What is it? You have something you want to say? This place looks trashed. Looks trash, man! Say, so if I jump down, can I get back up? Yeah, okay. Good times. Is there nothing down here? Uh, utility. Okay, that is not utility, that is a blown up utility. Electron chargebacks, like, I don't know, man. A lot of these things don't really seem necessary. Well, electron charge pack is ammo, and ammo is always necessary, but like. Ooh. That was definitely worth opening then. Never mind. Venture worth it. If I get even one stim pack out of it, the hell yeah. Man, I feel Kov coming on. And you guys. <laughs> no! Resist it! What the hell did I just pick up? Oh my god, I just looted everything. Open the pimp boy. Figure out what I did. Um, uh, did I pick up right there? Oh. I'm not sure. This is horrible. I don't need a wonder glow. Oh my lord. Now I have no idea what it picked up to make me overcumbered like that. Oh well. Guess I'll look at it next time or in editing and I'll figure it out and then I'll punch myself. Ay -ay -ay. Wait a minute, I'm wearing that and the beret? Well, that just looks ridiculous. I know there's a note I picked up there. Uh, or whatever it was. Yeah. I guess it was the uh, silo code. Whatever. What? Doctor Grant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, Whitley, there you are. Or 
orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the iBot Duraframe project isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too. You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him. Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here. I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here! Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. <laughs> At least until I tell the Colonel about this. Hmm. Sounds like Dr. Whitley really cared about you. Who the hell is General Winters? The recording mentor Colonel Autumn. Ralphie who? Uh... Wow, did you kiss your mother with that mouth? <sighs> so... This, uh... Robot security. Oh, come on. I can deal with them. I'm not gonna deactivate them. It's free experience. Are you crazy? Oh, um... <coughs> okay, those are missiles. Um, anyway. Where is my thing? Uh, I guess I could run in there with an axe if he focuses on... Ow. He... Hmm. Well, that was, uh, interesting. Nothing over here. I see this. And a hard desk. So I think, um... Hmm. Oh, I should take the energy cell. Damn it, take the energy cell! How am I overcumbered? Don't tell me that these passwords have weight to them. If so, that's a bunch of bull bull. Uh, I can drop the X2 antenna. I don't really need it, right? Not if I have a psionic and Verzal axe. Doesn't really make sense to have both of them. A dead guy. That's certainly something. More dead people. Red glare rocket launcher. Oh, that'd be that'd be amazing if I eventually find one of those. A nail gun? I'll take it for the ridiculous factor. Hold on, where is that thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got radiation going on in here. Uh, turret security terminal. Terminals damage. Repair it. Okay. Okay. Jesus. Nail gun. Oh, that's pretty fast. Um, whip out the plasma. I 
should have taken that plasma defender from earlier that I saw. Use it to repair this one. Oh. No longer well rested. Well, that sucks. Oh, I leveled up. What the hell? I didn't even realize I was close. <coughs> okay, so what do we got? I guess we'll max out explosives. Why not? We'll max out, um... Melee weapons. Or, not max out, but put more into. How about that? I feel like... I'm not 100% sure what's the right way to go here. I feel like there's multiple things that I need to be paying attention to. There's multiple ways I can go. General Martin Relstaff. How do I know that just by looking at him? Personal sentry systems. Open personal sentry doors. Sure, let's deactivate the defense system so that I don't have to kill all these things. That would be helpful. Maybe. Nice bit of ammo in there, though. That's nice. Um, I could have sworn I had two plasma rifles. Maybe not. Just drop my plasma defender. See if there's another plasma rifle over here. Nah, eh, plasma mines, but I don't really, you know, want those. This all seems weird. Silo network security codes. Use EDE to unlock the mainframe, or EDI, whichever you prefer. I just by habit call them EDE, I guess. Well, somebody stabbed this robot. Holy cow. Oh, another arc welder. I still haven't used that thing. I got it next time. It's decided next time I see a, uh, a guy I'm gonna arc welder his face off. It's official. What? What? You got something? Is this the mainframe? Yeah. Fixing things. Stimpack. Okay, uh, open bunker doors, why not? Let's get out of this place. Uh-oh. He senses danger. Ah! Okay. Arc welder! Holy shit! Jesus! What the hell's going on in here? Good lord! Come on! Uh... Nope, still not done. Holy cow. Boy, was that a lot of people. Let's see, our dollars. I'll take it. No parking anytime.
He's got, oh, you got a stim pack. Thank you. It's so helpful. Come on. Get your ass up. You got work to do. Oh, so what? This is level 1 security? Where I could have turned it all off? Maybe? Oh. Yeah. <coughs> I don't want plasma grenades. I don't need any more lads' lives. I have way too many magazines and books. Uh, it's just ridiculous at this point. Damn it. There we go. Lockers. Use Army Combat Armor. I'll take those MREs because they're actually really good healing items. Uh, okay, so what we need to do is get rid of something. Find something that we don't have a lot of ammo for, or how about... Um, we could do that. Okay, that, that saves us. I was wondering why I had a lair, and then I was like, well, I have Father Elijah's. So what happened to that? Apparently there's still a bad guy in here. Oh yeah, because I was getting shot at both directions, right? Man, I thought I'd turn that stuff off. Come on, you should be good now. Holy shit. That's not what I meant. You can go home, Korea. Heh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But where is home? How about that? It's a good uh, loading screen tip. That's exactly how I got the pimp boy. Three million. Three billion. Taking your chances coming here. Just like bringing the Lord of Vegas his tribute, bending your knee to old world ghosts. You and that chip deserve each other. Twenty-nine less coins than other traitors have carried, if history's true. Now see the road the old world paves, and what the lights of New Vegas promise, if they haven't blinded your eyes. Um, maybe you better tell me who you are and what you want. I'm a courier. Courier 6 was Courier 6. Like you, and not like you. In all the ways that matter. Spent too many years looking for you. Now letting you come to me. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No, you got lives in you, hard to kill, storms, bullets, sand and wind, yet still you walk, for now. Never spoken before, I'd remember your voice. Words are the only way couriers meet. Sometimes it's the paths we walk, but no, we've never spoken before now. You may not know my voice. But we've walked the same places. The long 15 to Prim. That wasn't the only road you ever walked. I've been to your home. The place you kept returning to. May not be the place you were born. It was the place you gave life to. Same thing. People forget. Couriers can keep communities alive. Until the day they're gone. And their breath catches in their throat. Huh. So you were supposed to carry the chip. Meant to. No. Never. Your burden. Weigh you down long enough to let death catch up to you. But you survived. There was death in that package. And while the chip is important to old world ghosts. No. 
You are more dangerous than that ship ever could be. Maybe why you found each other. Little piece of the old world speaking to you, waiting for you to wake something else up with it. You so you refuse to deliver chip, what, to set me up to die? We all have death following us. Only a question of how close. You dodged it for a time. You're good at that. Talent for it. With that chip weighing you down, a burden. Let's death move a little faster without me pulling the trigger. Uh, if you wanted me dead, why did you wait? Promises to keep to others. And the Mojave's dangerous enough left to the land. The land has its way. If I wanted you dead, we would have met sooner. Not sure that's the way this ends. Might be that history needs to have its say. If not, then messages will do. How are you speaking through Eddie? The robot with you. All of them are machines, radios, old world tech reshaped with new hands, historians, couriers carrying messages. Seen them as I've walked the divide, tending other machines. That one, sealed inside the Hopeville silo. Sign America is waking up. It will follow you, obey you. Carry it until we are face to face. Then there'll be no more need for it to carry my words. Hmm. What is this place? The Divide. This place is a slice of it. Old military. Can still smell the pride. And the fear. Hope of the old world. Wrapped in fencing. Covered in storm. Got new inhabitants now. Other than ghosts. More recent. Recruits. Um. The damage here looks like it was caused by underground detonations on a scale I've never seen. America sleeps in the divide. Giants. Beneath the earth. You saw one locked in the silo beneath you. There's more. Only takes a few of them, locked to the low ground, to tear apart the earth and cast dust, sand, ash into the skies above. For now, eyes alert, watch the streets below. There's still life in the divide. Threats other than the storms and wind. New inhabitants. Inhabitants doesn't look like there's anyone alive down there. These new inhabitants, not natives, most of them, came with duty, purpose, ready to kill each other. The divide was stronger. Left marks on them too. Not bear, not bull. Now, radiations marked them, made them equal in history's eyes. As vicious as the storms are, these shadows of Legion, of NCR, silhouettes of things to come. The bodies in the silo were NCR soldiers, some special forces. Might have been. Once. To the Divide they came. In the Divide, they rest. If you saw their corpses, you saw mercy. Got what they deserved, coming to the Divide. The bear and bull, NCR Legion, came in waves before and after, right into the invisible fires, the wind ground collapsing beneath them. Once under different flags, now they are equal in their hatred of the trespassers, you and I. They look like they were skinned then got right back up. Even as the fires here burned them from within, the winds of the divide tore their skin, exposed them, screaming to the sky. And 
just as the divide tears at them, so they tear at each other, for sport, like some tribal scarification, falling back to their history, maybe. No matter what they suffer, the radiation, fire of the divide, sustains them, makes them stronger. Huh. If they become a ghoul's radiation would strengthen them, heal their wounds, not their scars. There's truth in your words. In what I've seen of their tactics, movements, recovery. Those wounds. They couldn't live otherwise. The divide winds have torn the skin from many of them. Maybe the radiation is the only thing keeping them walking. They camp near silos, warheads. No way to cleanse the radiation. Makes them hard to kill there. Have to draw them out. <clears throat> Enough talking. You went through a lot of trouble to lure me here, so let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. That machine, robot with you, can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. If we share history, then before going forward, I want to know the past. Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away, at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. Hmm. Fine, I'll find this trigger, then I'll come find you. The Divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here, courier. Left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. Huh. Quest complete, the silo. Wow, this place looks fun. I think I said that when I got here, though. Quest added the job. So, this uh, guy we talked to on the other side of Eddie is Ulysses. Um, if you saw, there's a dialogue option to talk to him through that. And if you remember through past episodes, we know a little bit about Ulysses and how he has been keeping an eye on us through the entire game. So, who knows, maybe a confrontation, maybe something will happen, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I'll see you next time where we will enter into the divide. So, see you then. Bye-bye.